From the time I was appointed as director, I was worried about the space constraints at WeHi. I was worried for three reasons. I was afraid I'd lose the talented faculty that I had. I was worried that I would not be able to attract and retain talented young people. And I was afraid we'd lose our competitive edge with international comparable organisations. And this I brought to the board. By the end of 1999, I went back to the board with a very clear plan for two possibilities for phase one, short-term development of WeHi, phase two, a longer-term development. In phase one, we could imag imagine filling in the undercroft of the current beautiful building. Then we could um, negotiate with the hospital to acquire unwanted wards and redevelop them for new facilities for WeHi. Phase two, which was much more difficult to accomplish and much longer term, was to build a new western wing to the current building that would double the size of the institute. We were able to plan in this optimistic way because of a remarkable encounter with a remarkable man. That man was Chuck Feeney of Atlantic Philanthropies. He, he was really excited by our vision for the future and he decided that he would back us. But I have to explain that um, he had a very strong philosophy that um, he would only help those who could help themselves and that um, it was absolutely important to raise money also from government and from other philanthropy in order to achieve funding from Atlantic Philanthropies. So Feeney started deliberations with the Victorian government and that meant some hair-raising moments for me because neither one of them would commit without the other one first committing. And of course I also had to convince my own board because Feeney and the Victorian government both wanted our board to underwrite the building project. But somehow we managed to get it together and the deal was done. Atlantic Philanthropies gave us $30 million towards our building and the Victorian government outdid them and came in with $50 million. The next stage, of course, was to convince the Commonwealth Government. And I went with the President of the Board, Leon Davis, to the Prime Minister, to his office in Sydney. I put the case and within a minute he had said yes. And I have never forgiven myself for not asking for more. So we had $50 million now from the Commonwealth Government, $50 million from the Victorian Government and $30 million from Atlantic Philanthropies and that was enough to start serious planning for our new wing. In December 2008, the Premier John Brumby and the Minister for Innovation Gavin Jennings launched the new building with a demolition of an old wall on the site. 